And again, we welcome you again to 1972 action here on the Sports Time Machine. As we'll bring you the fourth game I believe we have in production. We have the Astros and Reds already on the channel. We have the Cub game against the Pirates, a very exciting game. And then Tom Terrific Seaver makes an awesome start against the Cardinals. All that can be found just today on Sunday on my channel for the games for this week. We move ahead to June 26, 1972. It will be Tiger Stadium in Detroit as the New York Yankees take on the Detroit Tigers. In today's game, we'll take a look at the standings. The Yankees are in first place, 35 and 20. They have the best record in the AL. Followed by the Detroit Tigers, they're 30 and 24. They're four and a half back, so it's only June 26, but it's a very important series for the Tigers. The lineups are on the screen. It'll be Clark, Allen, Mercer, and White, Bloomberg, Callison, Munson, Michael, and Kakish. For the Tigers, Taylor, Rodriguez, Kaline, Horton, Freehan, Jata, Stanley, Brinkman, and Slayback. Let's get to the field and let's get some baseball going. Here is Horace Clark. He'll lead off. He's 5 of 18, 3 runs scored. This is basic Stratomatic with some super hybrid, super advanced. So here we go. On the mound is Slayback. Let's see if he's had any appearances on the channel. He has not yet pitched. He'll pitch against Horace Clark. Both teams haven't appeared a lot lately, but these are two of the premier teams in the American League. You might see start seeing a lot of them in the future. Here we go. 312 for Clark. Money drives at a shortstop right at Ed Brinkman, and that's the first down. He hit a bullet right at Brinkman. So now here is Bernie Allen. Let's move the stuff over a little bit so we can see it. So now Bernie Allen, the batter, one for five, a run scored in RBI. The only hit a home run. Slayback on the mound. Two, six, is a strikeout. So two quick outs for the Yanks in the first inning. And here is Bobby Mercer, number two. Mercer comes in four for 18, two runs scored, two RBIs, hitting 222. Center fielder against Slayback. Mercer, a left handed hitter. Slayback, a right hander. Here is the pitch from Slayback. 5, 8, and that is a shot down the line for a base hit for Mercer. So Bobby Mercer is on with two outs. He's got speed. Let's see what they'll do with Slayback. Slayback is a plus 4, minus 2, freehands a 0. So it's a plus 2. The Mercer's first number, it makes him a 17 if he can get it. 4 and 6. Oops, I can't do it that way. 4 and 6, first number. It's a 7. Does not get it. So it only makes it a 9. So Mercer will be held, but will not be going anywhere. Here is the left fielder, Roy White. He's a switch hitter. He'll bat from the left-hand side. Let's adjust things there. Make things where people can actually see them. You have the scoreboard in front of you. Yankees, Tigers. Yankees have the first hit of the ball game, And there's two outs. So let's get... Back to my screen, and we get this going. Here's Roy White. He's 5'18, two runs scored, hitting 278. Here's the pitch. That's a foul ball just out of play. Almost hit the chalk. So here's White again, strike two. 6'10 against Slayback. Fly ball, center field. That is going to be Stanley. He's a 114, makes the catch. No runs, no hit. No runs, one hit, one left. One half inning of play. Yanks nothing, Tigers coming up to bat. Last of the first here at Tiger Stadium in Detroit. Here is Tony Taylor. Taylor the batter. He has one for three, no run scored. Tony Taylor will bat against Mike Kekish. Right-handed hitter Taylor, a left-handed pitcher, and Kekish. Righty-lefty combination here. First pitch, 2-10, and, and Taylor draws the first walk. So a tough star for Kakish starts off the game with a walk. Taylor's got some speed, so we may have to hold him on here. Plus four for Kakish. Minus two, Munson minus three. So it'll be a minus one on the algebra. 
So it'll be an 18 first number if he can hit a four, and he rolls a five. So Taylor just barely misses the lead. It'll bring on Aurelio Rodriguez. He's one for 12 so far. Slow start. Kekers from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Four, nine, and that's a line drive down the line for a double. That will get Taylor all the way to third. Two stars means he has to hold. And already the Tigers with an opening inning start surge. So Aurelio Rodriguez with a big double. Now here is out K-Line. K-Line so far, two for 11. Infield playing back. They're going to see if they can prevent a big inning here. Three, six, ground ball to short. That will get the run home. Here comes Taylor. He scores, and the Tigers lead one nothing. Rodriguez will stop, will stay at second base, ball hit in front of him, and it's one nothing Tigers. RBI, Mr. Tiger, Al K-Line. Here is Willie Horton, one for seven RBI. Let's see if Willie can hear a who. Tackers the left-hander from the stretch. Run, run, second, one out. Five, ten, and that's a strikeout. So Willie did not hear a who. Tackers gets the big strikeout. There's two away. There's a catcher, Bill Freehand. 0 for 9 has not got a hit yet so far when playing live on the channel. Packers from the stretch, runner on second, and nobody out. Here's the pitch. 2 7 fly ball left field. Packers gets out of this inning. Roy White makes the catch. Tigers get one run, one hit. They strand one at the end of one. 1 0 Tigers. Top of the second, it'll be Bloomberg, Callison, and Munson. So now here is Bloomberg. Now Slayback is a, is a spot starter. He gets fatigued into the fourth inning. So it could be a very dangerous situation. Here is Bloomberg. 4-10. Fly ball center field. Stanley Zare makes the catch. So now here is Johnny Callison. So Callison the batter. He's one for five with a double. Left-handed hitter. Slayback with the windup. Here's the pitch. 4-7, fly ball right field. Right fielder for the Tigers. K-Line makes the catch, and there's two outs. There's the catcher, Thurman Munson. 6 of 19, two runs scored, two RBIs, the home run. Solid start for Thurm. Play back of the windup. Here's the pitch. 6-9, struck him out. Munson down on strikes. What a performance for Thurm. Four slayback. Three up, three down, go to Yanks. Bottom of the second coming up here in Detroit. one nothing Tigers. And now here's Paul Ajata. His first at bat, but I believe we may have a mistake somewhere in our system. He had a monster game, I remember, playing. 2 six, and he gets a base hit. So Jaha base hit. So he continues what he started. That's base hit number two for the Tigers. And now here's Mickey Stanley. Jaha is an E runner. He will not be held. He's a 1 to 11. So here's Stanley. Kakish from the stretch wants to get two, three, four. There it is. Hits back to Kakish. Goes to short. Back to first. Double play. One, six, three. So a great one, six, three double play. And now here's Eddie Brinkman. He's one for 10 with a run score. So two outs here in the second. Kakish gets two quick outs. Brinkman will bat from the right hand side against Kakish. Packers with the lineup and pitches. 5 7, and that's a ground ball the second. That is going to be Horace Clark. He's a 3. That's a 6. Let's see if the 6 and 3 gets him or not. I believe it should be good, and it is. So Horace Clark throws him out. Tigers are done in the second. No runs, one hit. Nobody left. At the end of two, it's 1 0 Tigers. So now here's Gene Michael. He's 7 of 18, 4 runs scored, hitting 389. Solid so far year for Michael he's been playing. He'll hit righty against Slayback. Slayback is the right. He'll bat lefty against Slayback. Oh, here we go. 2 5. Base hit Gene Michael. And he continues his hot hitting from the Yanks. He's a C stealer. He can get the lead on a 7. So they're going to hold him just in case. So it's a minus 2. Minus two, freehand, I believe, is a zero. And Slayback's a plus four. So it's a plus two to his number. Fifteen first number. Fifteen first number. If he can roll the seven. Give me one second here. Give me one second here as the dice has 
rolled off the table. Got it back. Here we go. It's a seven. So he gets the lead. So Gene Michael, 15 or less. And he rolls a seven and he steals it. So Gene Michael snakes a six stolen base. Runner on second and nobody out. And now here's Kekish. He's going to, he, you can see right now, he's putting the bunt handle up. He's going to throw down the bunt. Let's see. And here we go. And it's going to be a two. Oh, it's dropped in front of the pitcher. Holy cow. And let's see what the call will be. Hang on one second. Oh, I didn't have my super duper charts ready to go on this one. Let's see if we have it or not. It's right here. So it is going to be a two on a sacrifice. And it's a good sack. Oh, picked up by the pitcher. One to three. So I thought he might have beat it out there, but he didn't. So sacrifice hit. One to three. Michael moves a second. Fantastic bunt by Kekish. So the assist by the pitcher. And put out by the first baseman who stayed behind and took the throw. So one to three. Runner on second, one out, and here's Horse Clark. So Clark, the batter, he started the game off by lining the third. Runner on second, one out. Slay back from the stretch. Here's the pitch. That's going to be a two. Seven and Horse Clark walks. So Slay back having a problem finding the strike zone. Two men on, one man out for Bernie Allen. Bernie Allen struck out his first time up. Slay back now looking a little bit of trouble. Slay back from the stretch. Two on, one out. Six, five struck him out. So Slay back gets a huge strikeout. That's the second out. And now here is Bobby Mercer. So Mercer, the batter, singled his first time up. Two on, two on, one out. Slay back from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Three, four, five ball right field. That is going to be the right fielder coming in, makes the catch is K-line, and the Yankees are put away in the third. No runs, one hit, two left, going to the bottom of the third, one nothing Tigers. Give me one moment here. Make sure we're still in business here, in, the, in everything here. Looks like we're looking good here, still good there. I want to straighten out the, the screens we have going here looking good and now let's get back to business here last of the third slay back taylor and rodriguez against kekish three three ground ball to third that is the third baseman for the yankees comes up with it and throws them out so big out there first out of the ball game third baseman for the yankees is bernie allen first to out Here's Tony Taylor. Great. Walk and scored in the first. Here's the pitch to Tony. One, four, ground ball back to the mound. Good job by Kakesh. He gets it and throws him out for out number two. Here's Aurelio Rodriguez. Doubled his first time up. Kakesh from the mound gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Two, four, ground ball to short. That's Michael. Gets it up and throws him out. And the Tigers are done in the third. Hey, let's go to the fourth. It's one nothing. So top of the fourth coming up. Yankees two hits. Tigers two hits. This is point of weakness inning for Slayback early on here in the fourth. And it will be Mercer followed by Bloomberg and Callison. So white the batteries 0 for 1. Slayback, here it is, the windup. Two, seven, is a ground ball to short. He just missed everything. Throws it out for out number one. So now with one quick out, here's Bloomberg. He flied to center his first time up. Slayback getting through this. Slayback gets the sign from freehand. Here's the pitch. Six, ten, five ball center field. That is Stanley. It's a one. You don't get the error on a one, unfortunately. He'll make the catch. For the second out. So again, that's the second out. Let's pull let's pull up the chart again. I have a great chart that someone printed out. So it makes it easier than the original. 1-1 one, one is a fly ball C. And that's two outs. So two outs here in the fourth. 1972 game between the Yankees and Tigers. Huge series to me. As the Tigers are battling the Yanks for first place. 
And now here is Johnny Callison. The Yankees have these guys in the lineup just hitting righties. And so far, Slayback has been putting them away. Slayback, Slayback of the lineup and the pitch. One nine, a single for Johnny Callison. So he's one for two. That's one hit in the fourth. And now here's Munson. He struck out his first time up. Slayback from the stretch. Run, run, first one out. Here's the pitch to Munson. One seven, Munson's down on strike. Slayback has given the Tigers four big innings. We go to the bottom of the fourth. It's one nothing, Tigers. So now it's going to be K-Line, who had an RBI ground out his first time up, followed by Horton and Freehand. So now Kekish on the mound. Here's the pitch. Kekish is a left-hander. One five is a walk, so K-Line's on. So K-Line draws the walk. Kekish, I believe, is a six starter, so he'll have some time still. Here's Willie Horton. Let's see if Horton here's a who. Run on first. Nobody out. Struck out his first time up. Horton so far, one for eight. Here's the pitch. Five, two walks him, and another walk. Kekish can't believe it. Back-to-back -back walks, and the Tigers got two on and nobody out, and here's Bill Freehand. Two on, no out. Kekish needs to get out of this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Three, two foul out behind the plate. Big catch is made. Munson gets it and holds on to it. One away and a big out. And here's Paul Jata. Again, this guy's been I mean, he's seen the ball so well in limited time. Jata will bat righty against the lefty. Catch from the stretch. Two on, one out. Here's the pitch. One, seven, popped it straight up. Second baseman, Horace Clark comes over and makes the catch. So now there's two quick outs. And now here's the tough Mickey Stanley. Good power on Stanley. 14 home runs in the 72 season. So far, one for four. Two on, two outs. Kakish from the stretch and the pitch. Three, eight, line drive to the second baseman. And a great catch is made. We played four one nothing Tigers. So Kekish goes back in the fifth inning. Classic pitcher's duel here on Michigan and Trumbull. It's one nothing Tigers. Michael followed by Kekish and Clark. So Michael the batter. We're beyond the point of weakness for Slayback right now. One nine fly ball right field. K lines there makes the catch for the first staff. And again, Kekish will come up. Two hitting pitcher card. Slayback gets the sign. Here's the pitch. One six struck him out. Slayback has gone almost five full innings. So now here's Horace Clark. He has walked and lined a short. Slayback gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Five, seven, ground ball the second. That will be Taylor. He's up three. He's up three on a niner. Nine on a three gets him. Four to three. Yankees done in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth. One nothing, Tigers. Oh my. So last of the fifth. Yankees three hits. Tigers two. Brinkman followed by Slayback and Taylor. They're going to keep him in there. Brinkman 0 for 1. Here he is. 3 7. Ground ball the third. Nice easy play for Allen. Throws him out, out number 1. Slayback. This will probably be his next to last inning. He'll stay in the game, though. Here's the pitch from Kekish. 6 11. Fly ball right field. Right fielder is Callison. He's up 2. 16 on a 2. It is comes over, makes the catch, makes the catch and throws it in two away. So with two outs, it is now the top of the order. Tony Taylor walked and scored in the first, and that's the lone run, and then grounded back to the mound. Kakish, the left-hander, gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Four, three, fly ball left field. Left field is white. He's a two. 20 on a 2 might be a classic re-roll. And he makes the catch. Good job by Roy White. We played 5. It is 1-0 Tigers.
possibly the last inning for Bill Slayback. He goes auto-tired once he goes two-plus innings past his point of weakness. So this will be his last inning. So Bernie Allen, the batter. Bernie Allen has struck out twice. Here it is. Four, seven, five ball right field. Bird out of his K line makes the catch first out in the six. So now here's Mercer. Mercer has singled and fly to right. Left handed hitter against Slayback. Slayback winds up and pitches. Three, seven, ground ball to third. Pick up the third baseman Rodriguez. Throws him out for the second out. Yankees going meekly here in the six. Here is Roy White. Fly to center, ground to short. Switch hitter batting from the left hand side. Slayback winds up and deals. Six, five, struck him out. And Slayback got six strong innings for the Tigers. We go to the bottom of the six. It's one nothing Tigers. Rodriguez, Kaline, and Horton against Kekish. And this is his point of weakness inning. So into the sixth inning. Rodriguez has doubled and ground the short. Six, six. There's a line drive short. Stop at Gene Michael. First out. Holy cow. Rodriguez had a bullet, but right out stick. One away. Here's K-Line. 0 for 1 with the, lone, with the only RBI so far. Kekish winds up and deals. Six, 11, five ball right field. That's Callison. He's a two. A seven on a two. Does he make the play? Yes, he does. Fly ball B. Callison squeezes it. Makes the catch for the second out. So now with two outs, it's going to be Willie Horton. Horton has struck out and walked. Package. Guess the sign. Two outs in the six. Here it is. Foul ball. So again, Horton strike one. Kekish winds up and delivers. Five, five, strike him out. Kekish gets Horton. And we played six. And it's one nothing Tigers. We head to the seventh. Auto tired for, yes, Slayback. So he has to come out. To the Tigers, we'll send up. Oh, my goodness. So, Slayback gives an honest, great job here through six. It doesn't look now. Let's see. What do they do? Got a couple twins here don't belong. So, guys have been effective for me so far. Has been sealed back. Who's on their closer. Chris Zachary has some good numbers. And also, I believe Fred Sherman's good. They both kind of save. They're guys, so let, they're going to breathe. They're going to go to their left-hander, Chris Zachary, or right-hander, Chris Zachary. So Zachary will come in. He automatically will take over. Again, you can't go with somebody beyond their fatigue point. There's no way to consequence him. So he just comes out of the game. So change unless some silly's happening like a no-hitter or something. So here it is. Let's go ahead and insert a new pitcher. And that's going to be Chris Zachary. He'll stay in the ninth spot for now. And the Yankees will now send up Bloomberg. Callison and Munson should have went a lefty, I bet. Ooh, should have won a lefty, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Chris Zachary stays in. Okay, he's already, he's already been put in there. So now here's Bloomberg. That could be a mistake here for the Tigers. Should have went the left-hander. Top of the seventh, lefty righty. Here's the pitch. Five, seven. Oh, there's a base hit. That's a double down the line. It hugs the line. Double for Bloomberg. And the Yankees have the leadoff runner on. So now here's Johnny Callison. Five, seven. Ooh, that went a double advance, too. So Callison, the batter, one for two in the ball game. Zachary now from the stretch. Tying runner aboard. Here's the pitch to Callison. 5 10. Catchers, Cardax. Free hands at two. That is an 11. 11 on a two is a pass ball and foul out. So the runner will go to third. The runner will go to third and then a foul out the free hand. So free hand makes the catch. And now the Yankees have a, a tying runner at third. 
And now here's Munson. They're going to play the infield, and although Munson's a great hitter, he struck out twice. Six of 21. Zachary from the stretch. Runner on third, one out. Four, nine, ground ball to short. This could be a tough play. Infield is in. He's a one. It's a 17. 17 makes the play. Runners will not advance. So six to three. Munson hits it right at him. Brinkman looks the runner back. And there's two outs. So now here's Stick. One for two of the single. Eight of 20. Solid year so far. Zachary from the stretch. Gets the sign. Three. Seven struck Michael out and ends the inning. Get up and stretch here at Motown. It is one nothing Tigers. So now, freehand fall by Jada and Stanley against Kekish. Kekish stays in the game for now, but he does lead off next inning. One, eight, uh-oh, deep drive left field. That ball is gone. See you later. Bill Freehand. Tigers lead it two nothing. So Freehand one eight. And that was a home run won the 13 and roll the one. So two nothing Tigers here in the seventh. Now here's Jata. Kekish on the mound. Here's the pitch. Three, seven, five, ball left field. White comes in, makes the catch. And boy, is that a big insurance run. One out here, Stanley. 0 for 2 in the ball game. One first, first five. Kekish with the wind up here. It's delivery. 3, 10, ground ball to third. Third baseman is Allen. Throws him out for the second out. Here's Eddie Brinkman. 0 for 2 in the ball game. Brinkman with a right-handed hitter against Kekish. Kekish deals. Here's the pitch. 5 10 struck him out. Big strikeout for Kekish. And he's gone seven strong. But the Tigers get one on a freehand bomb. It's two nothing Tigers. So now in the eighth, new batter as they'll pull Kekish out of the ball game. He goes a solid seven. So now let's see what they decide to do. They could do a lot of different options here so they'll bring in cowboy john ellis he'll bat so he'll be the new batter regardless so pinch hitter will be the cowboy john ellis comes in the bat now let's see what the tigers do they may go to their one two punch out of their bullpen and they'll probably go they'll probably go with one of either they'll go with sherman up oh, sherman's a lefty so I think they may want to start a righty. So they're going to go Chuck Sealback. 2.89 year A, 14 saves. He'll come in. So they have their lefty in the bullpen just in case when the Yankees bring their lefties back up. So here we go. New opposing pitcher. And it will be Sealback in the game. So Sealback in the game stays in the game. Pitches ninth. So Ellis the batter. Let's see if we'll need to make the change in the lineup. Probably not. Probably already been done. It is. And now here we go. Ellis against Sealback. And the pitch. 2-3. Ground ball to short. Good play by Brinkman. Throws him out for out number one. Now here's Horace Clark. One out in the eighth. Yankees with only four hits. Tigers with three. Clark the batter. 0 for 2 in the walk. Here's the pitch. Three, four, ground ball the first. Picked up by the first baseman. Jata makes the play for the second out. And now here is Bernie Allen. 0 for 3, two strikeouts here in the eighth. Silback looks in, gets the sign, and deals. Four, seven, single for Bernie Allen. Base hit number five for the Yanks. They have a tie runner on for Mercer. Mercer switch hitter, lefty, lefty. They're gonna get they're gonna ask for four outs. So Billy Martin says, nope, you're not gonna do it to me now. They're gonna call the lefty in, and that's all for him. So here it comes is the he's the last man out there, Fred Sherman. So Tigers go to the really good bullpen at this point. And give me a new pitcher, and it's gonna be Fred Sherman, the lefty. Coming in the pitch. Here for the Tigers, here in the eighth. 
Fred Sherman on the mound. Let's see if we can find old Fred. Fred Sherman. Let's see. Where is Shroom? Where is he? Oh, da, 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 da. hang on one second for once. Oh, there it is. He's under, he's under Fred. That's weird. And he'll stay in the game. And that nine. So Sherman comes in. Ooh, they may want to make a change. Let's see where they, what they'll what they would do. So let's so the time here comes Billy. He's gonna make a change. He's gonna make him. He's gonna make a pitching change and a defensive change for the Tigers. He'll come out. He'll talk to the man in blue. He'll explain to him what the change would need to be made. And let's see. It's either gonna be probably it's gonna be Dick McAuliffe will come in. He will come in the game and go to leadoff, and then that will force the pitcher spot to be in the bottom of the order, so Eddie Brinkman will come out of the game. Let's look at Tony Taylor. Tony Taylor is not a shortstop, so McAuliffe has to come in. So let's do it here. Change defense. And so the change is made. It'll be Fred Sherman and the new pitcher, and the new shortstop will be Dick McAuliffe. Let's go ahead and make those changes, including making the double switch. Give me one, one second to do that. And now the sh so now we're gonna put now we're gonna put Sherman. Can I do Ooh, I already made the move already. Ah Alright, that's fine. So we'll bring in we'll bring in McAuliffe. At short, probably going to be too late since I already made the choice already. But I'm going to make that in my, I'm going to do that decision in my head. So here we go. So again, it's one out and there's two outs. Runner on first. Mercer now hit against the lefty. Sherman on the mound and here's the pitch. Six, eight, and that's a shot down the line for a long single for Mercer. Sends Allen the third and the Yanks have first and third with two outs. Let's see how good this Yankee team is. Here's Roy White. Yankees an opportunity to get, get something going. Sherman from the stretch. Two on, two outs. Five, nine. Ground ball the second. Great play by Taylor. Throws them out and ends it. So they will hold the runner at third. So stays at third. And he will advance to second. But the inning will be over. The Yankees unable to score in the eighth. It's 2 nothing Tigers. So now the Yankees are going to have to make a corresponding move because they made a corresponding move with John Ellis. But the Yankees will need a new pitcher here in the eighth. The Yankees will let's see what they're going to do. Let's see who. You know what? Might as well go with... Where is he? Lindy McDaniel. So Lindy McDaniel comes in. Always a fine pitcher for the Yankees. So McDaniel will come in the ball game. So new opposing pitcher. It'll be Lindy McDaniel. He's in the ball game. And we're ready to go. For the Tigers, it will be Dick McAuliffe. Let's see if McAuliffe can be. Or we'll go to the pitcher spot, I guess. So he'll stay out there. Six, five on McDaniel. It's a drive to deep right center field. It's a double for Fred Sherman. How about that? So the pitcher spot had to come up, and he hits the double. So not a good start for McDaniel. Hung one up in the strike zone. Now here's Tony Taylor. Tiger trying to add, really add some insurance here. McDaniel from the stretch. Four, seven, ground ball the second. That's Clark. He is a three. 18 on a three. Let's see. It's a re-roll. And that's going to be an 11. 11 on a three is a ground ball B. So there's, it's in front of him. Oh, it's actually it's four to three. My fault. Runner will go to third. So that's it. Nice job by Taylor getting the run to go over. Infield will now be brought in. Runner on third and one out for Aurelio Rodriguez. Rodriguez two for 15. Has a double. McDaniel from the stretch. Two nothing Tigers. Two, six. Ground ball to third. 
holds a runner, throws him out, and that's two outs. So the runners will hold. So two outs, and now the Tigers are need a two out base hit. And here's Mr. Tiger, Al Kaline. McDaniels from the stretch. Runner on third, two outs. Here we go. Five, three, ground ball the first. Uh-oh, first baseman, there's no DH, which means that's probably Bloomberg. Oh, Nelly, let's make sure. He's, oh, I should have pulled him, I should have pulled him. It's a 17 on a 5. Does he make a great play? No, he doesn't. Bloomberg boots it, and that's a big error for the Yankees. That's a mistake the Yankees made by not pulling Bloomberg out of the game. So it's an error on the first baseman. Tigers lead 3 nothing. So that's an unearned run. And now here's Willie Horton. He has a chance to get the big hit to put this out of reach. So now here is Willie Horton. Yankees down three. Rock on the first two outs. Here's the pitch. 112 fouls out behind the plate. Munson's got it, makes the catch, and now the Yankees face a three-run deficit against Fred Sherman going to the ninth. So the Yankees will now send up. It will be Bloomberg, Calston, and Munson. He's a lefty, so theoretically he would be coming out of the ball game. So Bloomberg will now. They should have pulled him sooner. Oh, who do they have? You know what? We'll go to right-handed Rob Ron Swoboda, the former Met. So Swoboda comes in. Pinch hitter for the Yanks is Swoboda. So Swoboda comes in. He'll take some swings against the lefty Sherman. Yankees need some base runners. Here we go. Four, nine. And a strikeout, one away in the ninth. Yankees just getting nothing on the game tonight. And now Johnny Carlson, another not so much guy against lefties, will come out of the ball game. So let's see. Switch hitter, lefty. You know what? We'll go to Rusty Torres. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, Felipe Alou. So Felipe Alou will come in. He gets a lot of the bats versus lefties, and they're going to bring him in. He needs to get on base for him. So Felipe grabs a bat. A lose two for nine has a home run. So now Fred Sherman is two outs away from helping out the complete game here. Oh, fair ball stayed on the line. Four, nine, struck him out. That's two outs. And oh, the Yankees just not looking good. Here is Munson now. Two outs for Thurm. He's 0 for 3. Yankees are only six hits. Tigers leading 3 0. Sherman with the pitch. Is this over? 6 5. Fly ball right field. K lines there. Squeezes it. And that's the all she wrote. The Detroit Tigers have shut out the Yankees by a score of 3 0. So let's go ahead and give you the final recap here. The winning pitcher for the for the Tigers will be Slayback. The hold will go to Zachary Sealback, and the save will go to Fred Sherman. Losing pitcher is Kakish. He pitched his heart out, to be honest. This was a Monday night, June 26, in Tiger Stadium. Let's go over the final stats and standings. The Tigers scored one in the first, one in the seventh, and one in the eighth. And let's go over the final recap and line score. Detroit Tigers, three runs, four hits, no errors. The Yankees, no runs, six hits, and one error. Winning pitcher was Slayback. He went six, three hits, one walk, six strikeouts. Zachary, one inning, one hit. Sealback, two-thirds of an inning, one hit. And then Fred Sherman, one and a third, one hit, and two strikeouts. McDaniel came in and pitched an inning, one hit, gave up one run, was not heard. And that was kind of a big hit, big hit run there. Bloomberg had the only error, and that was a huge one. Yankees left seven on base, the Tigers four. Doubles by Bloomberg and Sherman and Rodriguez. Home runs by Freehand. RBIs by Freehand and K-Line. Stolen bases by Michael. And that was your ball game. The final score, Detroit Tigers three and the New York Yankees nothing. So before we let you go, let's take a look at the updated standings. 
Tigers will improve their record to 31 and 24. And the New York Yankees lost. They'll go to 35 and 21. So what that does to the standings in the AL East, the Yankees now lead the Tigers by three and a half games. Thank you, folks. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate all your time. There is your final score. Tigers three, Yankees nothing. Tigers three runs on four hits, while the Yankees no runs, six hits, and one error. Say goodbye, everybody.